Hello, my name is Tom and in this video I will solve square cells puzzle number 11. Okay, we only have four group clues, so let's mark them. So far, as I can see, there is nothing to, do to deduce from those group clues. So let's start with the column clues again. We have only separate squares in this uh, column available, so this one has to be a separate square. I can delete these squares. Here, in this column, I can already deduce that we need a separate square here because the three connected squares at the bottom can only be, can, cannot be positioned like this. This would result in four connected squares. They can only be positioned like this or like that also not because I need another separate square at the top, right? Um, so the three connected squares can only be positioned like this and the separate square has to be up there and I can delete these two squares. Now in this column I need three connected squares. One square is marked here already, so the three can be either like one, two, three, or like this. So these two squares can be marked, and in fact I can complete the entire row I see now because I need six squares, two squares, three squares, and a gap, and I have six squares here, so one, two, three, a gap, and one, two. So let's delete this one, and I have the same thing here on this side, three squares and two squares, with a gap in between. So let's look at the clues on the row side again. I have one separate square here and three connected squares. The three connected squares are somewhere positioned here like this or like that. But I have the one separate square here in the beginning. And in this row I only have separate squares so this one has to be a separate square. I can leave these two squares and the last separate square of this row has to be positioned here. Um, in this row I have two times two connected squares and the positions are already marked so I can delete the remaining squares. Looking at the row clues again, no wait, here I can complete the group of five connected squares already so let's do it like this. Um, now looking at the row clues again I have two separate squares that are marked already so I only have to delete this square here. Now the only clue that I have left is basically this one here, three connected squares, um, and it's pretty simple to see that I cannot put the three connected squares like this, because then I would end up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares connected, and I can only have six max. So this one can be deleted, and the three connected squares have to be positioned like this. This completes the group of six connected squares here, so I also can delete this square and this square. Now, um, I don't have any clues left here on the sides and this group of seven connected squares could potentially be um, completed in two fashions. Either like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares, or like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares. So what to do? We can only solve this by looking at the last remaining clue, which is this one here. We have two squares to remove. If I would put um, two square, if I would mark two squares here and complete the group of seven squares like this, I would only have one square left to remove. So this one cannot be the position. In fact, this is the only possible way to complete this group of seven uh, squares and comply with the rules of the game. So that leaves us with two squares to remove here and here, and the puzzle is complete. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I also hope to see you again in my next video when I will solve puzzle number 12. Bye!